Well, good morning, gang. This is Brett Douglas with Ironclad Landscape Management. Hey, uh, you know, you've been seeing some of our videos on the residential side of things. I uh, just wanted to let y'all know that we are full service, and we are definitely trying to break back into the commercial. And uh, my beloved uh, city of Deberry, I'm up to the north in Orange City, and we have a commercial unit that's sitting here. And uh, this is one that we've... Uh, it's been neglected for a few months, and so we're coming in to clean it up today, put our uh, horticultural expertise to, to bear. There used to be a property over there. Um, that was a 1980s like fitness place. It was finally torn down after some of the storms. Uh, they just cleared the lot and left it alone. This one over here just needs a little bit of work. It's a very old viburnum, sweet Irvani. Uh, there's some, this is some beautiful juniper that's over here, shore juniper. There's some Iliagnus back there, some Silverthorn. We're gonna see that later. That's definitely gotta be brought back down. Unfortunately, some uh, people that are down on the luck are sleeping back there. Just wanted to show you real quick on Juniper, guys. This is Shore Juniper in particular. And uh, when you have this browning out here, you can go two things. I suspect the irrigation's been off for a long time and then what happens is spider mites getting in here and kind of devastate this plant. Um, you can see that this is definitely an infestation. This is spider mite damage. So when you step back and look and see that beautiful lush green shore juniper is just tore up because of spider mite. And for people who are out there who hire landscape contractors, they should be alerting you to issues like this. Looking right now, just, just looking right off the bat, I see a backflow device there, an AVB, and it's uh, definitely shut off. The water source is shut off over there. Don't know particularly if that's the irrigation and this is your main line, but there's two different types. This is a Wilkins. That's a... a inch inch backflow device or inch and a half right there that's an rpg and uh reduce pressure and then this one over here is an atv backflow on a one inch um over here we have some domesticated nandina that looks like it's some heavily bamboo variety we have a india hawthorn which is erraticus which is really pretty right there we have a nandina heavily bamboo that got burned up obviously with the irrigation being down that that took its toll in there in the full sun you can also see over here that we have some burn damage on the very front of this Indian Hawthorne. So that definitely proves my theory the irrigation's out. Haven't dug into that. You can start to see that we're beginning the very cleaning up of, of de-weeding the front of this bed right here. You can see I left that just so that you guys can witness that. And then uh, we'll take a walk into the main courtyard. Obviously we've got some bushes that are touching the building. We're going to eradicate those limbs. Right over here we have some uh, beautiful, beautiful African iris, which is a Mori lily. Once again, we have an Indian Hawthorn. There's a, actually a grouping in here. Once I shape and trim all these up, they'll look really pretty. See a lot of weed pressure that's in there. And then uh, this is a Ligustrum. This is a Ligustrum japonica. This is one of the uh, tree-shaped Ligustrums. Obviously, it's uh, beautiful. We're going to canopy that up, clean it up, take some of the moss out, the epipites that are in it. We're going to remove those. And then you come back over here. Once again, see a lot of chloratic behavior where we don't have fertilization going on and watering so the plant's got a yellow hue to it we're going to correct these uh, you can actually see where this is a yellowing type and then come back over here this more natural dark green hue is where we're looking for that's a beautiful plant right there see how that has nice dark green hue and then let's get a diseased one out and then uh, you know being a rocket scientist you can tell which one looks nice and which one doesn't so obviously this green hue is what you're looking for. And over here we have a fungal burn back and uh, from lack of watering, you know, at one point the heavy rain has taken its toll here, but uh, we've got to have a symbiont relationship. You have to have the irrigation running naturally. And then uh, you definitely want to be able to fertilize to combat that. But if you look down the front here, we see the front looks really nice. We're starting to get this cleaned up. Obviously we're gonna blow all this off and then we're gonna spray our herbicide. We're gonna go in with a light dose of uh, gliophosphate in here, some Roundup. And uh, once we get all the walkways clear, you can see in here where all the weeds, the weed pressure has just exceeded the walkways. Uh, once again, down there, kind of the same thing. We started working on this rock bed first to establish it. And then what they did is they switched out and they put some large pine bark nuggets in here, which works inside this uh, really really nice soffit um overhang you've got a really brilliant like five foot overhang which is nice nice shade in here if i was the one who was landscaping this i would have definitely put a lot of aspidistria in here i would have put some ladyfinger palms i would have really taken advantage of some mahoney fern i would have definitely used some nice shade plants in here we'll talk about that later hopefully they'll let us do a little bit of maintenance on this 
And uh, guys and gals who are following in the preservation world, this is a guardian asset management property. And so a lot of you guys question guardians work and this and that. Listen, they've treated me fairly over the years. I've done a couple large scale commercial projects for them and they've always paid. So I was very excited to get the call. I'm a little late out here. Matt's been patient with me. Uh, my landscaping company has just taken off, but I am out here and I'm going to make good on this today. He's been a good friend and I certainly don't want to let him down. Um, so once again, we're going to come in here and obviously we're going to de-weed, take the pressure out of here with the weeds. We're going to get these bushes reestablished. Um, there's another nice set of shrubs right there. That's a viburnum also. Um, this is a odoratisserum, which is a, the dark schwadanki which is nice also. It companionates with the sweet Irvani we saw around the corner. But this is definitely, um, in fact, I, I don't want to say it to be impolite, but this one smells like dog poo. If you uh, smell it, it's got a dark stank smell to it, but uh, it's actually a very formal shrub. It doesn't grow rapidly like the other does. The, the VO definitely grows a lot faster. This Swedanka is when you cut it back, it'll stay shaped up and, and really nice. Over here, we have a palm frond down. We're gonna talk about that. We have some weed pressure. These are Aztec grass in here. This is a border plant. And then we have a lot of weed pressure. So you see the weeds kind of overtaken what was supposed to be in here. Once again, we have some African iris over here. Then we have your lily, or your uh, Aztec grass here again, your weed pressure. Another beautiful cultivar of the domesticated Nandina. This is the heavenly bamboo version, which grows a little bit taller. Really pretty. Uh, we're not going to have as bright a color. It's not like the firepower would have the bright red berries on it and the purple stems. This is the heavenly bamboo, which is actually used for the length. It has some girth to it. Uh, in fact, over here, in fact, here we go. There's a better example of the heavenly bamboo. See it in there where it just gets really tall. It'll grow six feet high. Really nice, nice thing. We can limb that up a little bit and we can really take advantage of showing the stalks. So in there, we also have some wild canna lilies that are growing in here. This is canna lily, uh, which is probably was planted at one time and it's grown back. Beautiful poke green weed that's growing there. But uh, here's where I want to talk about the palm trees. You know, if you've seen some of my videos before, we love Florida, we love our palms. These are actually our native sable palms. But see how we have just a really dense canopy? We have ferns growing, which is cool up there. But in the boots, if you look up above it, we have a kind of a hodgepodge of seed pods, green stalms, uh, green um, fronds, and then we have the dead fronds that are on there. If we want to prune all that dead out of there, we call that petticoating when it drops down. And then here's an example. We just walked over here and what do we have? We have the people that are coming into the property and they're throwing all this uh, stuff that's come down. These are seed pods. This is a seed pod. This is a seed pod. So, and then we showed you the frond that's over there. Then here's some more evidence of why palms need to be maintained properly. Here's our boots that fall in the landscape. Uh, once again, you have boot material over there. We have seed pods. So, obviously this was a clean area back here. We have two nice, uh, you know, Aztec grass, and then we have all the palm frond debris. So. Once we manicure these palms up up here in the courtyard, it allows sunlight to penetrate and we're going to open up this area. And then last but not least over here, we have my favorite, favorite formal shrub, which is, let me back up. Dun, da, da, da. Hey, look, it's ironclad. This is my beautiful Laura Petalum Ruby Chiniz, which is a beautiful shrub. It can cut, you can shape it and it will hold its form. It's true and has a really pretty flower on it. And then it just has this great maroon color and dark green hue to it. Gorgeous plant. Obviously, it looks just a little bit uh, rough right now. We're going to shape that up. And in the next video, we'll do a walkthrough and we'll show you everything. So God bless. Just wanted to show you that we do commercial work also. And uh, we're going to get this cleaned up and we'll take you through it on a walkthrough. Thanks. Have a great day.